beautiful people welcome back to a new video on our channel read travel become now what exactly is motivation what exactly is inspiration everybody in this world is seeking some kind of motivation and some kind of inspiration right so according to me from all the experiences i've had and all the books i've read i feel motivation is just a direction there is no book written in the world which will exactly tell you that if you do this you would get that if you do that you you will get that no book is ever written in that way but some books actually get you inspired they give you that push they give you that sense of direction i'm always looking out for such books and also this direction which we are talking about this sense of push this sense of direction it is different for different people it is different for different industries some people want a financial motivation some people want a life motivation a philosophy motivation some people want an, want an academic motivation some people want to build their body so they want that kind of a fitness motivation so there are different types of motivation and uh, many people ask me and many people ask people who read that tell me a book which will inspire me tell me a book which will motivate me so there are different books for different industries for different sectors i feel but what if i tell you i came across a book a few years back which is applicable to anybody it will get it will inspire anybody anyone who is seeking any kind of motivation i am going to talk about that book in this particular video in this video i am going to talk about that book how i came across that book and why you should read that book why it is so relevant this book mind you was written in 1951 but still if you pick it up it is as relevant if you pick it up after 200 300 400 500 years it will still be relevant that's the kind of wisdom that this book has so i'm going to explain all of that in this particular video if you are new on this channel hi my name is abdul on this channel i make videos related to books productivity and travel basically reading traveling and becoming the best version of yourself make sure you watch the video till the end you may never know which thought or fact may resonate with you and change the course of your life so let's get started Okay so before deep diving into the specifics of the book let me tell you how I came across this book in one of my previous videos uh, I may have shared this story it wasn't brief but I may have shared this story and uh, I'm going to repeat it again and I want to tell this story to you guys because it was a very interesting story of how I came across this book it was one of those moments that maybe i was meant to read this book and make this video it's all a manifestation so what happened was uh, a few years back i attended this uh, sale which is like a second hand book sale uh, which happens across cities right where you get books by the kg let's say 100 rupees per kg 200 rupees per kg book this these are like used old books uh, which you can buy for very cheap So I was navigating around the store I was trying to find out some interesting titles in one corner of the room it was dimly lit and uh, those there was a huge stack of books there, there was no price tag on those books it they were neither 100 rupees per kg or 200 rupees per kg they were just there I was just skimming through I was just reading the titles and this particular book was you know at, at the end of the stacks this book this book was pretty hidden i i just i don't know why i did that i just went inside and got that book out and i read the title of the book the title of the book was very very intriguing to me and uh, i thought okay let's buy this so because i had found the title of this book interesting i thought uh, the other books which i wanted to read i just chucked them all i just thought i am just going to purchase this book uh, i at that point of time i was a one book reader uh, i just bought one book read it and then again bought more and more books so i just wanted to buy this particular book i took this book i went to the shopkeeper and i told him okay whatever the price what is the price of this book so he was like he checked the book because it was in a section which was unnamed and not tagged so he was not sure about the price of the book he he gave me a random amount of the book and uh, i said okay i'll pay it i wanted to pay him i wanted to pay him through my upi from my phone so i tried doing that but it was not going through uh, it turns out that the bank servers were not working at that point of time it was evening 7 pm if i'm not wrong uh, bank servers were not working and the payment was not going through and uh, the shopkeeper was very a very kind guy he was a very jovial guy he 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 liked being surrounded by books he liked uh, whenever came into his store i love these kind of people who are excited when it comes to books so he told me 
just take it like you don't have to pay anything just take it i told him that the next time i will come i would definitely pay for this book because i didn't have any cash with me but he was like no ji you can just take it no worries i came back uh, i skimmed through the book i really like the concept of the book i skimmed through the book and i thought okay i will read it acche se properly baad mein and then i made this particular video a year back which was books recommended by dr apj abdul kalam when i was making that video i tried researching about uh, dr apj abdul kalam's uh, bookish history what kind of books he recommended and this book was the number one recommendation by dr kalam i couldn't believe it this was this was the book this is that copy the book is called light from many lamps it's written by lilian watson and this was the book it was highly highly recommended by dr kalam and i was so happy knowing that i had picked a gem of a book uh, from from such an inconsequential you know place so i got this book i and i then understood the significance of this book and why dr kalam had recommended this book so this book has a very different format it's not a story it's not a philosophy it's not a narration it's it's not that it's nothing like that it's just a collection of wisdom from different ages light from many lamps so this book has got wisdom from seneca from confucius from shakespeare hippocrates uh, saint paul many many great leaders and wisdoms and mind you these are not from the same times they are from different eras of time so the wisdom is shared between these eras and what exactly is the wisdom the wisdom is not just quotes or poems you know so you know these people have given out some great works of art and great works of poem and literature it's not just that in this book the story behind that is also written like why this particular uh, famous personality wrote this poem so there's a short story about that then if there's a poem then then the story goes like why this person has written that poem then there might be a small essay and everything everything is full of positivity everything feels so warm to read because it is an it is a classic wisdom it is an age old wisdom and you feel like you are a part of these personalities you are a part of all of that wisdom which is flowing through this is the format of the book which i found to be very very different from all the other you know motivation books so uh, in one of the interviews dr kalam had uh, talked that whenever he used to feel low whenever he used to feel depressed he just used to pick up this book and read any any chapter it doesn't matter what you are reading it doesn't matter whose quote you are reading any point of any page will give you comfort this is that kind of a book so if i talk about the chapters in which this book is divided so there are different chapters for this book the chapters are happiness faith and inner calm courage confidence self discipline personality and relationship to others peace of heart love and family life contentment in later years hope for the future these are the chapters which are given in this book whichever part you are struggling with just open that read it read some quotes read some essays read some poems you are good to go this is that kind of a book you don't have to read it in one go you don't have to like sit down and struggle to read it this book so i think this is a very very good book for anybody who wants to find comfort in books who wants to feel good about their life and you know experience that happiness uh i i have personally used this book whenever i'm feeling low whenever i'm feeling depressed i i carry this book always even we are coming here in the us currently i am in miami uh, this is actually my friend's house uh, i'm making a video in the his hall uh, i always carry this book with me it's a source of source of motivation for me always so you might think that this is just a collection of all the quotes and stories and poems from these great people it's not exactly that whenever i read any part of the book uh, i feel that is a very very research highly nuanced and highly structured book everything has a very good structure to it every quote there are quotes on al almost every page so everything is very well fitted it seems like a very good flow whenever many people have been asking me that tell me one book which you feel we should read to get inspired to feel good in life so this is that book if you want to get inspired in any any region in any field of life you can pick up this book read some passages you don't have to read the entire book just read whatever in whichever field you want an inspiration just read that part and try to think about that and try to 
do a fit gap analysis of what you have read and what your life is going on so this is the structure of the book i highly highly recommend this book and that's why i wanted to make this video actually and share this book with you guys and stress that how helpful this book was for me personally uh, i have always cherished this book and i will always cherish with this book i hope you guys pick up this book let me know in the comment section if you guys have read this book and what your thoughts are about this book uh, it's it's been a long time i've actually made a video on one particular book my my videos are generally like i recommend a lot of books right but this book is very close to my heart so i thought let's make a separate dedicated video uh, for this particular book so yeah thank you so much for watching the video till here this is this is the end of the video i know it was a short one but this is the message i wanted to convey uh, hit the like button if you found any value in this book and if you are excited to read this book and also subscribe to my channel uh, to see videos like this I will be making a lot of interesting content in the future so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for all the love and support that you have always shown on our channel read travel become that's all for this video see you in the next one bye bye